Hello, my name is Mike Morton with Keysight Technologies. Today I'd like to discuss with you how to redeem your 89601BU upgrade subscription for your VSA software. You may have received an email that looks similar to this after you purchased your upgrade subscription. It's an email basically thanking you for your purchase and to find the instructions on the attached entitlement certificate. When you click on the PDF entitlement certificate, it looks something like this. It will show the product of 89601BU-12 or higher. You can purchase them in incremental months. Uh, for this uh, demonstration, we've chosen the option 12, which is one year subscription. There's a couple key areas to note in this entitlement certificate. Namely, what's important with it is the key site order number and this certificate number. Also near the bottom of the entitlement certificate is the instructions in order to redeem the certificate and get your VSA license set up so that your future downloads of VSA software will run. There's a couple of steps here in order to redeem your VSA update subscription. This demo and, and instructions here out, given that you have purchased a recent 89601BU update subscription and have the entitlement certificate, that this certificate is either emailed to you or you may have received it in the mail. It, and it'll be a hard copy paper copy if, it's, if it was delivered via mail. It also assumes that you have a, a valid 89601B VSA software entitlement. Basically, it's a seat of VSA software in your KSM profile. These instructions have been copied out from the bottom of the entitlement certificate. There's basically two steps in doing this. The first two steps are adding an entitlement certificate to your profile. And then it continues on in the latter portion of actually doing the renewal of your subscription. We'll first add the entitlement certificate to your profile. The first step in redeeming your entitlement certificate is to go to your entitlement certificate and log on to the website contained in the instructions in the certificate. Here I'm copying it to my clipboard and going to the, that URL. Once you're to the software manager website, you have a choice of if you're the first time user or if you're a returning user. If you're not a returning user, you may register for a KSM profile using the register link. I will use the returning user. You first use your login name, which is typically your email address, and enter your password. Once you log into your profile, you may come to a page that looks like this. What you've really logged into is a My Keysight account profile. In order to get to Keysight Software Manager, please click on the Keysight Software Manager link. Once you're in Keysight Software Manager, it should look something like this. You will always have, you can add a certificate but you may or may not have these other bubbles of things you can do in your profile. To add a certificate to your profile, click on the bubble you can add a new certificate. It will then take you into the, the add certificate portion where you'll enter your order number and certificate number from the entitlement certificate itself. What you can do is go to the entitlement certificate copy out the order number, and the certificate number, and hit continue. It will then come to a page that basically is saying, 
add the certificate to your profile and what it contains, which it contains the 89601BU-Option 12. Once this is confirmed, press the Add Certificate button. You'll come to a page that says you have successfully added the certificate for your order number to your profile. Click OK to finish. Now that the entitlement certificate has been added to our profile, we will go ahead and continue on with the following steps to actually do the renewal of the subscription. So the next step in step three is you look for a bubble in your KSM profile called You Can Renew Subscriptions, and then basically continue on with these steps. So let's go to the web page. After we added the subscription, you may have noticed earlier that a new bubble appeared. And that bubble is you can renew subscriptions. So we'll go ahead and click on that. You will come to a page that is to renew your subscriptions. And you're selecting the subscriptions. We have selected the 89601BU-12, 12, 12 months update subscription. If you had multiples in here, you'd have to select one or one or the other. But for this one, because we only have one in here, it's automatically grabbing the one we just added. And then down below, it's, it's telling to assign this subscription to a C to VSA. This is where I mentioned earlier in the video that you must have a C to VSA license in your KSM profile in order to assign it to that particular C to VSA. So when you select the, when you, you go ahead and you select the host ID for the C to VSA, and then you click continue. At this point, it's given you a summary of the subscriptions that will renew this C to VSA with this host ID. We will then send the license files to your email address. So you type your email address. You can also CC anyone else if you'd like, and then click the Renew Subscriptions button. After this is finished, you should receive an email with your license file, which includes instructions on how to install the license file on your host. After you've received the email from the license service, go ahead and open up the email. The email will contain the instructions on how to install your new license file. It will also have the, the license file attached to it. Follow these instructions in order to install the new license file. For me, my machine is where I run my VSA, and this is the same machine that I'm reading this email on. So what I'll do is I'll say save as, and save it to my temp directory. I will then open up License Manager. Notice in my Keysight License Manager, my option 200 still has my old version of license on it. The new version just needs to be installed by going to File, Install, point to where I save the new license file, and open it. I also get a bubble down in my tray saying successful license replacement. So now my option 200 now has the new end date, October 25th, 2016. Thanks for watching.